Alright guys, hello there, it's Logan again, it's been a while since I posted, but I figured I wanted to do more videos and, you know, start up my channel again, hopefully do something with it. So, first video that I plan to do, which is this one, is a top 5 of 2018. So, this channel is a metal channel, uh, I listen to like 99% only metal, um, I just want to list my favorite albums that came out in 2018. So, there was a couple runner-ups. Uh, Violent Noise by The Word Alive. That was a definite runner-up. There was only one song in there I didn't like, Stare at the Sun. It was just kind of not my thing, but the rest of it I really enjoyed. Next runner-up is When the End Began by Silent Planet. And that was... It, it's a good album. It's just... I didn't like it as much as I liked the five albums, so my well list. So coming in at number five is Seasons by Siler. Uh, I pretty much just got into them when their new album came out. Heard a few songs like Assume and uh, like one of their older songs. Was kind of a fan, but I didn't really like go out of my way to listen to them. I heard No Way and All or Nothing, whatever it's called. Um, I, I liked them a lot, so I bought the album, and it's definitely a number five. It's a really good album. I, uh, let's, my favorite song is probably Sick Minded. Um, I really enjoyed that one, but I also like uh, Wait For You, um, Doubt Me. They're, they're, pretty much the entire album is just front to back. Good album. Lost in By Era, and at first this was my number two and number three, or and even number one at one point um, album. But it was just the other three albums that I chose just kind of outranked it. I really love this album. Uh, I listen to it pretty much every day. It, you know, my favorites are Ghost of Nothing, Valhalla, uh, XBA, and Reach. Those are and Signal Fire. Those are like the number. Like, those are the best ones. Best era songs I think I've ever heard. And, you know, all around. Instrumental, vocals, just everything is good. So number three is Phronesis by Monuments. Okay. Uh, recently got into them too, uh, when they released AWOL. I liked it, didn't like it too much, but I thought I'd check it out. So then they released Leviathan and Mirror Image as their next singles, and those really caught my attention, because it, it was like if you took metal instruments but put Michael Jackson singing vocals over it, it's really weird, but it's really interesting, I really enjoyed it. So, uh, Leviathan, Mirror Image, uh, Stygian Blue, or however you pronounce that, um, Vanta, The Watch, and there's one more that I'm forgetting, but the entire album front to back is a banger. Listen to it, okay? Next album number two was originally number one, and it kind of is, but it's also not. So it's Holy Hell by Architects. Love the album, every single song. There's not a single bad song I think I've ever heard by Architects. And it's like the perfect kind of, you know, next album after All Our Gods. And it, it, you know, it, when I think of Architects, I think of this album. It's extremely good. I love it. I listen to it every day. I've tried learning a few of the songs, but they're so freaking hard on guitar, so I just gave up on that. So I'll have to change the strings to go into their little tuning, because they play in a really weird tuning as well. But everything on there is good. When Josh Middleton joined, I only got into Architects like a year and a half ago. Like, actually, I got into Architects right around when Tom died, unfortunately. But 
I think that their last album was amazing. Uh, I didn't. Li I haven't listened to too much of their older stuff, but it's still good. But this new al new newest album they released last month now is probably their best work I think they've ever put out. I just went on a last Now, my number one position is like, you'd probably think like, wow, holy hell, my architects didn't make number one even though it's such a great album. And like, it originally was number one. But then an album came out last night and originally I wasn't gonna put it on this list because it's only an EP and I was like, you know, a five song EP can't really outrank a 10 to 13 song album just because it's less songs. But then I listened to the EP and like just those five songs like blow all the other albums away. It's crazy, okay? It is, it's absolutely mind blowing actually that like they're not a huge band but they're definitely not a small band now uh, it's i let the devil in by currents and i heard into despair and i was immediately like okay this is amazing but you know i still thought it's an ep i can't put it on the list but then last night when it came out i listened to the entire thing it, basically it's a 10 song ep which normally that'd be a full album but the first half, the first five songs are with vocals, and the second half are those same five songs just without vocals. It's an instrumental. And I think they did that so musicians can learn, um, you know, if they want to learn guitar, bass, drums, or whatever, or if they want to use vocal covers, they can use that without having to, you know, do vocals over Brian, okay? Brian is the vocalist, of course. But I listened to it, and I think it's the it's the best five songs I've ever heard in my life. Um, My Disguise, it's amazing. Pretty sure The Rope and Forever Marked, Into Despair, and then there's one more I just can't remember the name of, but I'll, I'll put like, I'll put all the links to all these albums in the description. I don't know what to say about Current's album other than it is a masterpiece in massive proportions. And I am so excited for them to get bigger and for them to release probably a new album next year or the year after and to headline and everything. I would love to see them again. I saw them last year in November and it was the greatest concert I think I've ever been to. That's all I wanted to do, top five albums. There were a couple other runner-ups, like, you know, Too Far Gone by Kane Hill. That was a great album. It's just, I didn't like it as much as I liked these five albums. Um, Eternal Nightmare by Chelsea Grin. Really good, but it's also, I'm not too into deathcore these days. I'm, like, kind of more into the metalcore, melodic, whatever stuff. I, like, I like deathcore stuff, really just heavy stuff, but... Again, it's not something I listen to every single day. The only exception to that, I think, would be Crystal Lake's new album, Helix, which technically is out in Japan, and then you can rip off the internet, but I'm just waiting to buy the actual album in February of next year. I just bought their last album, True North, I think it's called, last night, and it's a very good album. It's crazy. I listen to Aeon, or however you pronounce that. That's a great song, too. I highly recommend you check out any of these bands so i'll put in links to the description um please like and subscribe comment um request anything you want i'm going to be putting out covers of whatever song anyone wants or at least if i can learn them within reason i'm going to be putting out lots of originals and demos that i will if my band does not want to use these demos then i'm just going to release them on here uh I'll do Q and A's, gear videos, studio tours. I'm gonna do tone videos like GGD, which is the drum program I use, how I get the drum sounds, how I get my guitar tones, my bass tones, um, and just my gear pretty much. So if you guys want to see that, please let me down, know down below and uh, see you later.